Dark players right now against these outsiders, <laughs> these, these silly vampire savior players. Well, don't forget, Sokka was the one that sent Punk to losers. Smug eventually finished him off down there. But now Sako has to go up against Fujimura. I think it was F Word and I were talking about, you know, conceivably the four best players were uh, Punk, Problem X, Tokido, and Fujimura. They're at the top of the CPT leaderboards right yeah, now. Yeah, and Sako was able to take one of them out. And can he take out another one here in Fujimura? Yeah, I mean, he was a multi time premier winner last year. Obviously, he is an extremely strong player himself. So. He, he's one of the Japanese, quote, gods, unquote, yeah. you know? Japanese gods of fighting games, and he's just an incredibly strong player in general. We saw him earlier bust out that Kage. He lost to Fudo, but it was very close. And so back to Minot, a matchup a little bit more favorable. The thing about this is that the approach option of the EX Kunai is very scary, and the ability for Ibuki to just destroy you is really good. But the ground control you have in this matchup is excellent if you're Minot. You just have to scout the EX Kunai with jump back jab, because uh, you can't crouching for your sit very easily out of the air. And I do want to give an update that Itabashi Zangief indeed, indeed defeated Otani. Okay. So the match that we're going to have after this is Tokido and Itazan. Nice. That's a classic. <laughs> yeah, but here we go. First, Sako versus Fujimura. This is the make it into the top eight. Let's go. Yeah, these two, I believe, played in top eight of CEO last year, actually. This is uh, a match that I remember seeing back there. And uh, Fujimura, obviously the champ, trying to make it back into that top eight to maybe repeat, get another belt. The walk up is check. It's the V-Skill out. Wow, he tried to double V-Skill. And actually, the jab from uh, Minar reached mm. this big. Yeah. Knockdown early against Minot is very, very dangerous for her. She's not a character that thrives in this kind of situation. She's got to get out of there quick. Yeah, but she's Fujimura, got to figure a way to get that orb back. Dude, he is relentless, just hounding after Sokko. Yeah. You know what? As soon as he noticed, like, okay, Sokko's going to escape, he just stopped and reloaded the kunai. Yep, He's like, I, I know. so smart. I know you're out of here. 50-50 here. So you're going to reload. I'll reload as well. But here we go. Sokko's going to be able to get this conversion. Is he going to go for a mix-up in here? Yes. Just get some damage. But the wake-up EX. But he still has the orbs. Yeah, and especially he's got the heavy orbs on the ground. Those ones are yeah. very useful for mix-ups especially. The yeah, light orbs are not, yeah, I mean. Because they don't hit people standing. Yeah, they just exactly. don't. And there you go, Fujimura taking round number one. Yeah, I mean, clean stuff from him. He did a really good job of recognizing when the orb was gone, you have to chase. You have to go out to this character and win the round. And then once he knew the orb was going to come back, he's like, all right, well, I'll step back, reload the kunai, refresh, go back to neutral. Oh, Miss Antier there from Fujimura and Miss Kunai actually. Yep, so Sako's gonna take advantage of that, get a hit, spend one of the meter, but a little bit too high up on that drill. I feel like, oh man, just going right in there with the meaty kunai into the shuriken. Wow, I thought he was going to the other side. Yeah, I like staying in the front mostly because in that situation, you know, keeping the corner is pretty important. And he's out of there. Fujimura escapes. Orb recall. Wow, it hit from behind. And Into man, the oh critical man. Art. Yeah, and there's it was no... in his back pocket, and it still clipped him. <laughs> there's no reason ever not to spend that meter with Minot. She almost always builds up another meter in the next round. Yeah, she's like a battery. She does so many special moves that it's very natural for her to just build a lot of bar, right? She's yeah. constantly doing stuff. Yeah, and she just really doesn't need the EX as much as a lot of other characters do. Yeah, she really uses that on EX uh, Orb Toss, and like that's about it, right? EX Soul Throw for anti airs as well, but mostly she spends it during, you know, critical arts or V triggers and stuff, so it makes sense. Medium punch, Orb Recall. I love that check from Fujimura, knowing that it wasn't going to be an issue. You know, until the orb is near you, you can all, a lot of times challenge. And I like the EX uppercut there. Oh, Bane and Kunai okay. release. Yep. Here EX we go. Right ah, God. Every time, every time Fujimura hits you, he maximizes that damage. And so whenever he has all those resources all ready for himself, he hits you one time and you are dead. Absolutely. I, that was deader than dead. As soon as he walked oh, back, the bait was clean. I love it. I love it. Fujimura. Round one, Sako looking for that roundhouse far anti -air. That's super good. I think that's one of those things that um, is like characteristic of really strong Monop players. Perfect spacing on that. And the command dash not wow. interrupted. Overhead, good block. Good block, yeah. And I like Ooh. that he tried to challenge the orb recall, knowing that it was pretty far away. Ooh, Again, too high up for those drills. And that actually led to the stun, so he should probably finish this off with the kunais. Yeah, there you go clean as ever. 
Good you know, you know. He just really makes every situation feel like the worst of times, right? He's like, let me just make this feel like the worst thing in the world. Yeah, I know you're just sitting there like, oh, you know what? I should be able to live through this combo, but then, like we said, Fujimura maximizing it with some kunai releases and just beautiful extensions. All right, knocked down in the corner already. EX Kunai connects 50 50. Stays in the front for the throw. I love it. Jump over, back throw, and that is that. Fujimura made this one quick as the Kunai release gets the kill. Wow, that was fast and that was clean and efficient. Fujimura advancing forward. Yeah, and you see him just the fist bump after. He's like, yeah, I'm the CEO champ, man. I gotta get back <laughs> into this top eight. Last time at 1.30 in the morning, he lifted that belt up above his head and was like, yeah. That's right. He's trying to but, get another belt. You know, look, Fujimura, I mean, obviously one of the strongest players in the last couple of tournaments maybe hasn't had that success that we expect from Fujimura. The last few tournaments, he's been doing solid. He's been, like, getting, I mean, like, he was, if so, you're not winning and we're, like, getting top three, right?